is up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here with the year two offseason for our San Francisco 49ers franchise. I just started the live stream seven minutes ago. We already have 134 people here. Thank you all who have tuned into the stream. I appreciate your face holes. And before we really jump into the meat of the offseason, I saved something for y'all so you guys can help me make some decisions. It's something I typically do off camera, uh, but... There was something just ridiculous that happened that I wanted to um, show you guys and have you guys help me out with it. Before I do that, though, let's say hey to some of the people in chat. I'll try to get in as many names as I can, but typically it starts to go really fast. What up, Legend Manning? Iron Green is here. Pat Spike, Alicious, Marshmallow Ryan, Hitman, Ty Thompson, Mr. Artie W is here. Who we have not seen in a while, but he officially has the longest subscription with me of 15 months. And there you go, Chase with the subscription. Thank you guys so much for that support, man. It means the world to me. I'll get back to the names in one second. I gotta show love to Chase there. Thank you very much. See that, Ty, Big, Crazy, Rosk, Nick, Harris Williams, Killer Zombie. Oh man, Vegetarian, thank you so much. Combine, Casey, Tic Tac, Jabron Lames, I like the name. Frodo's here, Harris, Trent, Black Money. All right, I try to get in some names. I try to get in some names. Thank you guys for all being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for that subscription, man. The resub, it means the world to me. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys can actually subscribe for free, and it helps me out a whole lot. If you guys are here, you already have Amazon Prime. You just got to sync your Amazon account with your Twitch account. You get one free sub a month. Uh, and if you choose to spend that on me, I'd greatly appreciate it. If not, no worries at all. I appreciate you guys being here anyway. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to the surprise. And we are doing some player uh, development here. We're going to spend some team XP. And, and one reason I really wanted to do this on stream is because a certain individual has just become ridiculous. And you guys are about to find out now who that is. Chantrell Wilkerson, nearly 95,000 XP to spend. This is ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen this much. Kirkland Marion has quite a lot uh, to spend as well. Jimmy Ward, 10,000. Dimitri Todman, 10,000. Quentin Dial has 10,000. I'm a bit shocked about that one. Willie Sneed at 9,000. Anthony Davis, 8. We're really only going to do the, the star, like the younger players right now. We're just going to do the younger players right now. I'll do the rest off of, off of stream. Uh, but... Chantrell Wilkerson. What? This is ridiculous. Like, nobody's even remotely close. But I think it is because, one, he was a rookie. Uh, second in the Rookie of the Year ratings. He ended up in first for best defensive back in the NFC. And I think that obviously all, all helps out there as well. But just completely ridiculous. What's up, Prince? How you doing today, man? Goderson, I like it. So I'm I, obviously we're going to get his man coverage up. Uh, we got to get his press up a little bit. His catching, maybe play recognition. I'd like to improve awareness. I'd like to improve. But do you guys want to do anything with traits? Now I don't really care to spend anything on his development. Clearly, we have plenty of XP to spend. But the reason I don't really feel it necessary is because clearly. He, he just gained XP like a boss anyway. Oh, yeah, he made the Pro Bowl too, which helps as well. Um, he gained XP like crazy. I, I really don't think we need to worry about that. So, and, and to be honest, with this much XP, I think he's probably going to be in the 90 overall areas anyway. Uh, big hitter, I don't think needs to happen. I did upgrade this during the regular season. That's part of the reason he got some interceptions. He has a clutch trade al uh, already as well. He actually had that before the season. I did not need to upgrade that. High motor might be a nice one to get. Maybe strip ball? I don't know. I, I want to see what you guys think here. Uh, give me some opinions if you guys want to do traits. If not, we can just go back over here. And then obviously focus on the, the big ones like man coverage is really what I'd like to improve. If we can get this up into the 90s, I mean, that'd be great. Uh, get high motor, you guys are saying. We can do that. It, it really doesn't cost cost much XP to do this at all. Uh, what up, Jared? How you doing today? What's up, Mets? 
I don't think we need to do superstar development. He's developing perfectly fine without it. So we'll be all right. What up, Swiper? How you doing today, man? All right, let's see. Do speed. He's already very fast. I will do high motor. So we're going to get the high motor trait there. Uh, back over here. He's already at 92 speed. I don't think we need to spend that much XP on more speed. He's already going to be super fast as is. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on man coverage. I want to get this to 90 and see where we're at before I submit it. I mean, yeah, we, we got plenty of XP getting that to 90. So there we go. Obviously, awareness. Let's get this to 80 really quick. All right. Still looking good. Press will get that to 80. Obviously, play recognition. We'll get this to 80 as well. Tackle, I might as well move up a little bit. I mean, just so he doesn't blow tackles. Uh, I mean, we still have 52,000 XP to spend here. So, I mean, do I just straight go all out and make him a complete lockdown type of guy? What are y'all thinking here? That's what I'd like to do. Get awareness, press, and uh, play recognition to 90. That's what I'm thinking. But I want to get his zone or his man coverage up a little higher as well. Let's, let's move this to 85. Awareness. Press. 85. All right, that's all at 85. What if I put the rest in the man coverage here? Pursuit and catching. I can move his catching up. He got so many interceptions anyway, though. Let's see. That would... I Does he... I mean, his pursuit's fairly high for a cornerback anyway, I think. If you, get, you guys are saying to move his catching up? All right, we'll move it to what? 75 is pretty ridiculous for a cornerback. Let's put the rest in man coverage. Are you guys okay with that? Are you guys... I, I do keep him in zone. I don't really need him in zone. Whenever we run a zone defense, it's more so for the other players on the field. Um, but I'd like to get his man up a bit more. So let's see what I can do here. I mean, I can move his zone up too. All right, all right. We still, we still got plenty to work with. What are y'all trying to do now? You want us pressed to 90? I mean, this guy is ridiculous. Redonkulous. Zone to 90. You want to do zone to 90? I can do that. I kind of want to keep it that. I mean, look at this. Six foot four, 95 man, 92 speed. This guy is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hit power, he's not going to be delivering a whole lot of hits uh, unless he's in zone coverage. But like man-to-man -man coverage, he, he wouldn't have the angle on it, really. Uh, let's see. Press to 90. A lot of people are saying press to 90. All right. All right. We can only get it to 88. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. Chantrell Wilkerson now a 91 overall there we go unbelievable man this guy is looking very very good i could not be happier with my selection there uh definitely looking like a great player to have moving forward kirkland marion here we go uh what would you guys like to improve here now i could move his development to quick i don't i mean as long as he is getting decent xp at the end of the season i don't think it'll matter a whole lot though um, awareness might not be something I have to worry about a whole lot either simply because I'm usually controlling him. It's not like the players that are controlled by the computer the majority of the game. He's going to be expensive to re-sign. Oh, he was going to be our franchise corner anyway, so we were definitely planning on re-signing him either way. All right, let's see. What do we got? What would you guys like to do here? I see one development. What's his carrying at? 87. He didn't fumble a single time, though. Um, but it is at 87. And I do think I'm actually going to move the fumble sliders up a little bit to where the players are fumbling a bit more often. I don't feel like we got a whole lot of fumbles happening last year. I see a lot of people saying catching. We do use running backs out of the backfield a lot. But I feel like there might be other things that might be more important. If you guys, A lot of people are saying catching. Uh, I see ball carrier vision. Now, does ball carrier vision matter when I am playing? Because I'm going to be controlling Mary in the majority of the time. That would be my concern there. Same thing with awareness. But obviously, we need to get these up anyway. Um, it's too much to increase his agility at this point. Uh, acceleration and speed, he's already fine. He's got decent strength as well for a speed back, for sure. Uh, elusiveness, too, too high. 
So really, it's a lot of stuff that I don't use stiff arms a whole lot. So, I mean, it would make sense actually to do catching. Maybe we can put this to 70, I guess. Throw that to 70 for right now. His juking. I do use jukes from time to time. I guess get this to, what, 85? Because it's kind of expensive anyway. They upgrade his throw power. There we go. Let's let's upgrade his awareness. Let's get his overall a bit higher to be fair to him. Let's see what else. We have uh, 5,400 here. Um, I don't really need him as a pass blocker, I don't think. Route runner. He did make it as a kick returner for the uh, Pro Bowl. And this one, is, it's much more difficult to upgrade him, I feel like. Injury. That could be good. Where's his injury at? Because he did go down. <laughs> It's already at 90, though. I mean, I don't feel like he's going to be getting hurt a whole lot. It might have just been, like, a fluke injury. What are you guys thinking? What up, TNT? How you doing today, man? Let's see. A lot of people are saying injury. Special K with a $2 donation. Can we get some love in the chat? Thank you so much, What's up, man. Sneaky. It's been a oh, while. Oh, man. It has been a while, dude. How have you been? I actually was just thinking about you right before starting the stream. Do you guys remember? All right, so I'll bring it up really quick. Do you guys remember the old overlay that I had? I had an old overlay, and it had, like, a spot for top donator of the month. And I was trying to do that, but it glitched out. Whoops. Clicked the wrong button. It glitched out. I don't know why it glitched out, but um, your name actually popped up as top donator of the month from way back when uh, at a certain point. But thank you so much for that $2, dude. I greatly appreciate that. Throw some love his way, man. That support really means more than I could ever tell you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, people are saying get his trucking up. So we'll do that. We can get it up to there. Um, don't really have enough to upgrade anything else. So we only got him to an 82 overall, despite having all that to spend. But really, everything that we needed to spend it on was quite expensive already. Here is Jimmy Ward. He made the Pro Bowl. So let's go ahead and figure out what we got here. And, um, awareness is key. Play recognition. We need to make this better. I need his zone coverage to be better, though. If I'm going to keep him at, at free safety, his zone coverage has got to be better. But what do we do? I clearly need to upgrade uh, play recognition as well. I mean, I think this has to at least be at 80. So, there we go. We got him to an 81 overall. But we're going to come back to this. Because I might need to move Jimmy Ward around. We'll see. We will see. Dimitri Todman. Here we go. Uh, get his awareness up. Just to be, again, to be fair to him. To get his rating up higher so we'll, we'll spend on him. Uh, I think that would only be fair. We definitely need to improve his catching. It's not where it needs to be. So we'll move it up by two there. And then maybe his release or route running. What would y'all rather upgrade here? What would y'all rather upgrade here? Let's see. Alright, I'm seeing route running. There we go. He's an 80 overall. His, he's normal development too. All of our guys last year are normal development. Again, uh, certain players I'll probably come back to later if they're a little bit old. Not older, but I really just want to focus on the younger guys right now. Uh, what can we do with Aaron Lynch here? What do we need from Aaron Lynch? Gosh, his power moves. I do have him up to 75 zone coverage just because we kept getting torched by tight ends. Uh, what else? His tackle could certainly be better. That might be the way to go. Because all the times that we blew tackles, I say we get his tackle up. That's really what we need the most. Um, his play recognition is fine. His awareness is okay. I'll probably move that up one. Let's get his tackle. Well, I can't improve tackles. Let's just get his awareness up again. There we go. What up, Murder? How you doing today, man? It's good to see you, sir. All right. Block shed. I, I needed to worry about tackles first, though, because that was an issue that we did have. Here we go with Garnett, and I'd like to get his run block uh, improved. But it's so difficult to upgrade offensive linemen. I swear, they barely ever earn XP unless you just do something insane, I feel like. Uh, I don't know. So, Artie, Artie and Bama, are y'all back or are you just tuning in for tonight? Because I would freaking love to have y'all back. I miss y'all so much. Y'all don't even know. All right, here we go. Uh, block shedding. If you guys want to do block shedding here, 
that I am cool with. Uh, what do you guys think? If finesse moves, we got power moves. Play recognition might be important. I mean, I don't remember Buckner getting faked out a whole lot, though. Let's see what you guys are thinking. I think XP sliders are already increased for offensive linemen. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's see. You guys are all saying play recognition. All right. So we'll move this up to 80. Well, I can't, actually. Let's just move it up there. That'll take him to an 85, and we'll have to save the rest of the XP. I can get Pursuit in. He was actually very good at that anyway, so I'll probably just save that XP. All right, here we go. Uh, there's Aaron Lissamore is already 25. The dude was just a rookie. Oh, my gosh. So is Ditton Richie. That means Ditton Richie's 75, too. Um, and again, let's see. There's Let's find Sean Kendall. Here's Sean Kendall. And then from here on out, we'll probably just move forward with the rest of the offseason um play recognition and awareness got uh, his awareness has got to be improved there's no ifs ands or buts about it that's all i could really focus on there i would certainly like to improve his zone coverage from 80 um but there we go well we'll get his awareness up now luckily it's still very cheap so if he's healthy next year maybe we can get some more xp for him and work on him there um, I don't think there was anybody else I really wanted to focus on just yet. I'll probably do the rest off camera. So, let's go ahead and move forward. Players are ready to renegotiate. And we got some big names that we would like to bring back here. Deron Venable being one of them. And I'm cool to give him three years. He's only 22 years old, 76 overall. Right now, he, he's on the bench for us. But he's a guy that I do like a lot. Um, and I, I would certainly like to bring him back. So I'm down to offer him a three-year deal. And he is going to stay with the team. Marcus Gesser. Now, I'm going to need your guys' help here because I feel like we need to give him a bigger contract. He's better than his overall rating would suggest. We're all very happy with what we saw from him so far. Welcome back, Jay Young. It's good to see you again, man. What's the plan for Cap? Uh, and we can't really do much. It, you know, we're going to take a huge penalty to release him. And no team wants to trade for him. So we're kind of in a, a difficult situation with him for the time being. We'll figure it out, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think Gessler definitely deserves money. I, I want to give him more than he's asking for. Because he played better than what his rating is. And, and the money he's asking for is based on his rating. I don't necessarily think that's fair. What about this? Like, what's a decent deal for a five-year deal? What are y'all thinking? What are you guys thinking? Let's see. I need some opinions on this because I don't follow the salary side of things a whole lot. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions, I would certainly appreciate what you guys would think would be fair for the way he played because we need him as our number two corner. Five years, 26. So pretty much what I have is what you guys are thinking. Boy, some people are saying 30 million. You guys think 30 million is fair? Hey! 13 months in a row! Can we get some love in the chat? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Your support means the world to me, dude. There we go. And again, guys, if y'all have Amazon Prime, you guys get a free subscription on Twitch if you guys would like. It helps me out a whole lot. All you have to do is sync your accounts, and then once you do that, you hit the subscribe button, and it should give you the option. But thank you so much, Peyton. Throw some love in the chat. You guys are saying more like $30 million around there. Let's do, let's do 29 Is that cool? Let's do that. Let's give him that. I think he deserves it. And I know we're overpaying him. And if I was like, you know, obviously I could take the easy way out and offer him less money. But he played much better. I think it's only fair to reward his play, not his overall. Uh, Daniel Kilgore has decided he wants to leave. It breaks my heart. He is an Appalachian State guy. But if he wants to try out a different team, I can't blame him. Uh, Mike Morgan. Now... I mean, what do we do here? Because Mike Morgan just made the Pro Bowl for us. He led our team in sacks. However, he's getting older. Last year, he had 88 speed. It was something I valued very highly with him. Now he's down to 83 speed. Now he's down to a 72 overall. So we're kind of seeing the decline catching rapidly. Sneaky G. And there you go. The Twitch Prime sub. Once in a row for G, can you guys throw CPG some love? And if one of the mods can throw his chat, 
his chat, his channel in the stream. Go hit subscribe on his YouTube. Um, I think he's trying to get his Twitch going again as well. So follow him on Twitch. Show Sneaky G some love. Keep it in the Sneaky family. Uh, you know, we're trying to get the Sneaky squad going again. We're trying to make something happen there. So show some love. But one whole year, man. Thank you, dude. That's awesome. Hey, G, with the one year, you get the purple headband now as well. What up, Jamie, man? I don't know if I said hey to you yet. How you doing today? So, I, I think we, we get to a point where, one, you want to show loyalty to the players that, that did well for you, right? Mike Morgan, great season, made the Pro Bowl. On the other side of things, teams let players go if they made the Pro Bowl, but they think they're going to decline. Do we make that decision now? He's regressed a lot. I, I think it's... I think we might need to replace him. And I would sign him to this one-year contract to have him as a backup. But did, should I do that? Would that be fair to him, though? That's what I'm kind of wondering at this point, too. Would that, do you guys think that would be fair to him if I signed him on a cheap one-year deal? Uh, I do think we're going to need to move on from him as a starter just because clearly he's taken a step back. Uh, and, and Carradine would have been his replacement, but I think we're probably going to let Carradine go as well. Not feeling like we definitely need to have him back um Bo Allen I, I'm willing to listen to what you guys are thinking with Bo Allen uh one year replace well even if I sign him on a one-year deal he could just be like somewhat of a mentor I think we should do that I think we should sign him on a one-year deal if he's willing he's going to let's have him there because he's going to be the mentor as a backup because Tank Carradine was the backup but obviously we're not going to bring him back so here we go all right Draft that left outside linebacker. Which one are you talking about? You guys would like to bring Bo Allen back? Uh, he's still pretty young, only 26 years old. There's a defensive tackle in the draft that I greatly like, though. This would kind of be the reason why I'm, I'm a bit hesitant on it. There's a free, uh, free agent. There's a, a rookie in the draft that I really like at defensive tackle. And I think it might be better to, to grab him instead of signing him to a two-year deal. And a fair offer, if you notice here, okay, now they're saying the fair offer is $6 million, where here it says the fair offer is $4 million. I think I'd be okay moving on from him. And the reason more so with the fact that we have Quentin Dial, as well as some, some player in the draft that I think we'll be able to get, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, so, so we'll try to draft somebody. Quentin Patton, he did really good two years ago for us. Last year, he really struggled. Um... I don't feel like I want to bring him back on a three-year deal. That's what he's looking for. I think it's probably time to move on. Joel Edison, though, I do want to give him a good deal. Probably three years. Um, I'll even give him more of a signing bonus again, and it's more to do with the fact that he, he played a lot better than his overall. He had an outstanding year for us. I, is that fair to y'all? Do y'all think that's fair? I don't know uh, what the going rate for a good kicker is, but I was very happy with him. He did miss a few extra points, but other than that, he was solid. Very, very good. Uh, you want to say four years? Why is my nose itching? It always itches with when I stream. Um, I got to be careful, though. I got to be careful. Because I can't, I can't like, give away too many contracts. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see. What are y'all thinking? I, I say it's good. All right. Yeah. We'll do that. I think that's fair for him. I want to offer for their production, not their overall. Cody Kessler. And this is where it gets interesting because obviously he played outstanding for us. He, he had himself a killer year. Now, I Cody Kessler right now is our starting quarterback going into next season. However, there's a quarterback, there's a few quarterbacks in the draft that I greatly like. One of these guys might challenge Kessler for that starting job if they pan out but I do think Cody Kessler deserves to be the the day one starter at least going into the season unless the other the rookie just straight out plays him right um what do we offer him though his accuracy it very much is solid for a 70 overall I mean he's he's good accurate his accuracy is better than the other quarterbacks that we had um two years 12 million I could do something like that That'd be an expensive backup, wouldn't it? But I, I honestly, and, it, and again, it's coming back to the fact that he's earned that contract. I don't care what his overall says. 
he's played better. And I, I want to treat the players that way with their production, not their overall. Um, but let's go ahead and, and make that move. I got to be careful. It's only a two-year deal, though. It's not super long. Aaron Lissamore. What are you guys thinking here? Because he's 25 years old. He, he did okay. Not great. Um, but I, I'm... Could we find somebody better? Probably. All right, Bama sounds good. Who have we resigned so far? Uh, Venable, Gesser, Morgan, Edison, Kessler. Let's see. Give him like a one year deal. I want to see more from him. Gosh, I, I feel I don't feel like he earned three million though. He's still injured, but obviously that won't matter next season. I don't I don't think he's worth that much. He's asking for a lot. Or maybe I initially tried to sign him for more. But we do have Fryer as well, who's a better receiver. I say we let him go. I'm not feeling that. I'm not. Mike Glennon. All right, so Glennon I would have been okay bringing back. Except for the emergence of Kessler, the fact that I'd like to draft a quarterback. Who knows if I'll be able to. I wanted to draft a quarterback last year, and it just didn't pan out to where we were able to get one. So, maybe that's going to happen this year too. Um, but I think we might be able to sign a third string quarterback. Kaepernick is still on the roster, so we'll be okay. Vincent Valentine, I think we can move on from. Evan Presley. Um, I mean, he's looking for a super cheap contract here. Do we like his stats enough that we feel comfortable moving forward with him, or should we focus on somebody else? Nobody wants Cap. I, just nobody wants him. His contract's ridiculous, and he's not that good. Why would anybody want him? Nobody wants him. Welcome back, Bama! Oh, it's nice to say that. Makes me happy. Dude, Bama and Artie's showing up. You guys don't even know. Like, I, I love everybody here in the stream. I don't want you guys to think otherwise. But Bama and Artie are, are two mods that I, I've just developed very good uh, friendships with. So it's great to see them. Um, Taylor Hart. I, I do want to bring Taylor Hart back. I would like to bring him back. He's going to test out free agency. Fair enough. If that's what he would like to do. Bruce Ellington, I don't really think we need to bring back. Um, Let's see. If we can get Taylor Hart in free agency, if we can go back and try to get him then, I'm down. Everybody else, I think we're okay. It, yep, Shumi knows App State, their second bowl victory. They've been in Division I for two seasons. Both years, they won their division. They broke the Sun Belt winning win record for a season. And here they are. Hey, man, subscribing with Twitch. Can we get some love going in the chat? Thank you so much for that support man i really do appreciate that it means so much man and again if you guys twitch prime free sub no cost to you if you guys already have amazon prime so thank you so much a man dude i know you could spend that uh free sub on anybody so the fact that you spent it on me does mean a lot man thank you very much all right so i think we're going to let everybody else go i think we'll be good so let's move ahead and get this thing going advance week and here we go. We're going to need to scout some more players. And, and I'll show you my idea for the draft. I was going to try to do a stream last night that was a scouting stream. I wasn't able to make it happen. I had a whole lot of stuff going on. Uh, but we will look at it. I really don't care to sign any free agents, if I'm being honest with you. I like building through the draft. Certainly not a star free agent. If we can find like a guy that might fit in, that'd be cool. Drew Brees, who just won the Super Bowl with the Saints, is a free agent. And the Saints do not appear to be bidding on him. What? What? Why would they not? He just won them a Super Bowl, though. Trey Boston is here. But Jimmy Ward just made the Pro Bowl for us. I'm still shocked Jimmy Ward made the Pro Bowl. Do y'all understand that? I did not feel like that he deserved that, if I'm being honest. I, I like Jimmy Ward. He had a lot of tackles, I guess, but I was a bit shocked to see that one. Um, here we go. See what else we got. Get Adams. I don't really want to get Adams. Um, we already have Tom and we already have Snead. Those are our one and two. Um, I'd rather try to find a rookie for a three, I'm thinking. 
And, and I do got to think about cap space, guys. I'm not big on signing the big name free agents. But I do have to think about cap space because eventually we're going to have to sign a lot of these players uh, that we have been drafting and stuff. Uh, Austin Safarian Jenkins, though. That could be like an under-the-radar pickup. 86 speed, I certainly like that. There is a tight end in the draft that I do value highly. But he, he's projected to go into the first round. So if he is there by our pick, I don't know if I want to spend that, that pick on him. Um, that could be an interesting signing, though. I do appreciate his speed. Let's see. Well, again, Adams, we already have Willie Sneed. We already have Dimitri Todman. Dimitri Todman is certainly going to get better. Like delicious with the Twitch Prime sub. Dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. I am feeling the love tonight, guys. I appreciate that. Throw some more love in the chat. Thank you, good sir. It means a lot, man. It really does. Um, yeah. I, I really don't really want Adams, to be honest. Safarian Jenkins is a bit more under the radar. I'd be okay with that. But again, there's... I don't know if I want to offer him a four. I, he deserves a four-year deal. He's only 25 years old, six foot five, great speed. The, I think it really comes down to, do I want to draft that tight end? Twitch Prime is awesome, dude. I am so stoked they, they worked that out, man. It really is cool. Because uh, I have, you know, Amazon Prime anyway. I know a lot of people have Amazon Prime. So for all those that have Amazon Prime... All you have to do is sync it up with Twitch. You get a free sub, and it helps me out greatly, or any other streamer that you guys do decide to uh, support. You guys would like to sign Austin Safarian Jenkins? Nobody's bidding on him. Do I do I lower the bid a little bit? He's not bad at run blocking either. That's actually nice to see. Let's see. Nelson Spruce. Uh, what team was he with? Because we played him at some point. The only reason I don't want to get Austin Safarian Jenkins is the fact that we have... The fact that we have... Um, again, there's a tight end that I do quite like. But he's a first round tight end. And I just don't know if I want to spend that on him. We'll offer this deal. It's not like I don't mind offering him four years because he's only 25 years old. Uh, and I like that speed again. That could be a, a good pickup for us. Shumi! With the subscription as well. You guys are killing it, man. Thank you so much. Can we get some more love in the chat? And Shumi was there earlier. I saw him talking about Appalachian State. Anybody that loves App State, like, has a way, has a place in my heart. Let me tell you that right now. What do we got from Kennard here? Uh, not bad. I I don't know if there are a whole lot of good outside linebackers in the draft, though. There's a few guys that I'm looking at. What I did notice is the speed for, for players is just not very good at all in this draft. Like, there are very few good players with speed. What up, Josh? How did I forget about you? I said hey to you earlier. Did you not hear me? What's up, man? I'm so sorry. Did you, uh... Please don't forget about me. What did I... Wait, what am I forgetting? Let me know, because I would never forget about you, cutie. Not once, not never. Alright, let's see. Um, and again, I don't... This, I think we should go ahead and advance, to be honest. I'm okay advancing. So let's do that. Alright, let's advance. Then we'll, we'll look back at it. LOL, it was a prank? What? Yeah, we do have a fullback. We have, uh, Alawali. Wait, what was the prank? I'm so confused. Oh, I hate App State. I will ban you so fast, Spike. <laughs> Spike subs and I ban him. <laughs> oh, Bama, that's just cute. That's why I love Bama. He's adorable. He just says things. He accepted that right off the bat. I really... I was not coming into this thinking I was going to sign anybody. But, I mean, we got him at a fair price. Again, 86 speed is what I really like. Uh, it adds a dynamic to our um, tight end core. So, And I'll show you guys the tight end that I had been looking at. Because I was going to withdraw the offer if you guys thought we should go for the tight end. But this is him right here. Parker Rich. Um, I don't know what 469 comes to. Artie, are you still here? Do you have like all the numbers now? I don't know. 
Oh, Josh, I would never forget about you. You are one of my Rocket League buddies, man. I remember, dude. I remember. Um, so, Parker Rich. But now that we signed Austin Safarian Jenkins, that's really not as big of a need. There's really not a first-round player I'm in love with, to be honest. So I'll show you the dilemma that we have right now. If we go up here, the one player that I like the most is Enrique Milborn. Uh, I think this guy would be perfect. This is what we need. But we pick at 17, I believe. There's no way we're going to be able to draft him. It's just not realistic, I don't think. Uh, he will likely be gone. But look at this. I mean, that would have been my number one pick. Obviously, Bruce Allred looks outstanding. I think we all know this. Only 22 years old. Great height. Great accuracy. Um... Throw power isn't outstanding, but it's, it's certainly good. I mean, I don't think anybody would complain about A-, minus, but it looks like one of the better quarterback prospects I've seen. Again, though, he's probably going to be gone by our selection. However, however, there is a guy that I like, a quarterback that I like. It's not Kirkland Keaton here. Looks good. Might actually be available by our pick. Not liking that. Look at the throw power on this guy. Philip Rollins, A-plus throw power. If you have a guy with that kind of throw power, you can develop anything else, right? Antoine Street, good accuracy. B, mid-throw accuracy right off the bat. However, the guy that I'm really liking right now is Austin Schobel. A minus throw power, B plus throw on the run, B plus uh, short throw accuracy, 461 combine or 40. He's 23 years old. I would have preferred a bit younger. Um, but I, I don't have a second round pick right now, but I could easily trade up for a second round pick. I think I have two seconds next year. I think I have three thirds and three fourths this year. So I have I have some wiggle room to move around. Um and Austin Schobel, Owen with the subscription of his free Twitch Prime song. Oh my gosh. Yo, thank you so much. Can we get some love in the chat? And if we get back to 100 subs, I will have two more emotes to give y'all. Uh, so hopefully we can make that happen sometime shortly. But thank you so much, man. That means the world. Throw some love in the chat. I really do appreciate the support, man. All right, so... This is who I would like. Obviously, Allred's probably the better prospect, but he's going to be gone by our selection. The middle linebacker I really like, but we do have Zach Brown. We do have Navarro Bowman. If this guy were to fall to us, that'd be a no-brainer, but that's probably not going to happen. So, looking through, there's really not a whole lot of guys in the first round that I really like. So one idea that I do have, and again, I told you guys a minute ago, speed is an issue. So many guys have horrible speed in this draft. Look at this. 4.59 speed for a first round cornerback. Just not, not outstanding. Not what we need. Um, I love his press, his zone, his man is solid. We had a draft story about West Brooks as well. Um, but the, the speed's just kind of, eh. uh, We can maybe move Zach Brown to outside linebacker if we were to get another middle linebacker. That, that could happen. We do have some more draft stories I meant to show y'all. Um, meant to do that earlier. Oh, we got more than I even saw last time. Okay, wow. Okay, the combine. Okay, so it might have actually... Okay, there we go. This is what I wanted to show you. John Forsey takes home the All-Star Game MVP after his 19 tackle performance. And then Jordan Swan down there uh, shut down any receiver he faced in the All-Star Game. So those were the two stories. I think the rest of them are actually just combine, which we're just looking at anyway. Um, Jejuan Gay, better pass catcher. That's a running back, I believe. So we'll have to keep an eye on that too. Four five nines around eighty eight speed. Is it really that fast? I would not have. I would not have thought that that was eighty eight speed. That's actually not awful. If it's only eighty eight, offer Bostana contract. What is he? Uh, I I don't really want to sign anybody else yet until we we look at the draft some. Okay, so I mean if that's eighty eight speed, I could I could live with eighty eight speed. We need another 
another uh, quarterback. Ron Swanson is a gentleman and a scholar. Here's Jordan Swan, the guy that shuts down any receiver he faced. Uh, four five speed, six foot three, good hit power, decent zone, good pursuit. I don't know what his tackle is, um, but my idea is we could maybe move either Jordan Swan or Malcolm Sparks to middle linebacker. I don't know. I am considering trading out. I am because really there's not a whole lot of players that stand out to me as like that's who I need. The other thing I, I came across was Tajay Veal. We could move him to outside linebacker. You know he's got good speed. He's got incredible height. Uh, but he's got good speed. He's got good pursuit. His hit power is okay. Um, I can definitely see him working as a 3-4 pass rusher. So that is another option as well. How do you sync up the computer with Amazon Prime? Um, if you hit... I Ask one of the people who subbed on it. I think if you hit the subscribe button... It'll say something about sync with Amazon Prime. You might have to go to your settings on your account. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I haven't done it but one time a long time ago. So you might have to ask one of the, the people that just did it. But it's really not that difficult. It's only clicking a few buttons. I just don't want to tell you the wrong thing and have you accidentally click the wrong one and sub on a regular thing. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't plan on trading up for All Red. I have no intentions on doing that. Um, I like the other quarterback, Shobel, quite good. But this is actually, Tajay Veal is actually a selection I would make. If we moved him to outside linebacker, I think it could make some sense. You want him at left end and move Buckner or Armstead to defensive tackle? I don't think he has enough strength to um, be a defensive end in a 3-4 system. So, anyway, here's another middle linebacker. Thomas Worthy. He's only 22 years old. His combine's not outstanding, though. Uh, what is a 471? He's got a good tackle. He's got good hit power. I mean, this guy could probably be very solid as well. Let's see. Here's another tight end. Oh, that's the tight end I had already shown y'all. Uh, Eubanks is... No, it's not Eubanks. There's a guard here. That might make a lot of sense. Was it Eubanks? I don't think it was. I guess it is. I thought his combine was better. I thought he had a 39 rep combine. Well, now I don't know. Now that he doesn't have that great combine, his run block is not very good. I was mostly taking him because I thought he had an outstanding combine. But we do need to scout some more. This guy's got a good pass block, but I'm really not liking his bench reps there. Move Veal to defensive line. He's already a defensive line. I think he'd be a better linebacker is what I'm saying. He doesn't have a whole lot of strength for a 3-4 defense there. So there's some other tight ends, but again, not great combines that I came across. Uh, Dillard Kraft out of Appalachian State, though, and projected to go second round. They're saying sixth round talent, though. Not looking great there. Um, not an overall great draft from the things that I have noticed. But I will show y'all anyway. Maybe you guys might come across some guy that y'all think could be very good. Here is Brandon Pfeiffer. We do need an outside linebacker. But, I mean, his stats are okay. They're saying he's a second-round talent projected to go into the third round. I'm not loving his speed. I'm not loving his top three skills. So I don't know. Um, here is a defensive lineman. Nothing stands out a whole lot here. Um, good power moves. I'm really looking at that strength, though. Only 29 reps. What up, Batman? How you doing today, man? All right. Go down the list a bit more. See if anybody else is going to stand out here. I don't need a running back at all. There's no point of even looking in that direction, I don't think. There's Shobel. And here is Dent. Is this the defensive tackle? This must be the defensive tackle that I was talking about. Is it? Let's go over to defensive tackles in a second. But this guy looks very good, too. 37 reps. Um, you know, decent top three skills. I think he'd be a, a very solid pickup for us, to be honest. Oh, yeah, we will have to look back at Taylor Hart for sure. Let's see. Who was the workout warrior? Which player? Uh, Marcus McLaughlin was a draft story as well. 
What was his draft story? His combine sucks, though. I couldn't... I don't think I could draft him in the third round. I don't even know if I could draft him in the fourth round with that combine. Um, nothing outstanding here. Let's see. Strong safety out of Bowling Green. All right, six foot four. Good hit power. Decent... I mean, this is a good player. Look at this. Early fourth round... Uh, third round talent, though. This could actually be a very solid pickup, I think. I would not mind this at all. Uh, you know, for a late round guy, obviously. Obviously, safety is not the biggest need we have, but got to keep an eye on since nobody else is really standing out. Tank Goff, I like his name, but really not standing out to me a whole lot there. They are going to say a mid third round talent, though. I'm not seeing that with his top three skills, but uh, we've already found the fastest quarterback. He's projected to go in the third round. Kirkland Merriam. That would be so... Like Kirkland Marion and Kirkland Merriam. Having both of those guys, oh, that'd be too confusing. He doesn't look good anyway. So I don't think we really need to consider drafting him. Corey Essex, 4-5-3. And again, speed is just not anybody's friend this year. Here is John Forsey. Now this is the guy that won the college all-star game MVP. So we'll have to keep an eye on this guy. Good hit power. Good pursuit. Okay tackle. Um, his combine's really not outstanding, but this might be one of those guys that just plays better than what shows up on the combine. Uh, I mean, we had, what, 19 tackles in the All-Star game. Definitely looks like a very, very good player. Uh, and for a team that, one, might need some middle linebackers, I don't know. It's weird saying we need middle linebacker because we have Navarro Bowman and we have Zach Brown, but... The biggest issue with our defense was the inability to defend tight ends. And that really comes down to who we have there. Now, that doesn't mean he's going to be a great defensive, uh, you know, zone cover guy or, or something like that. But we do need to consider it. Uh, Russell here, I mean, C tackles his third stat. C pursuits his third stat. Down the list we go to find out if there's anybody else that's standing i think there's a guy in the fifth round that i like but i'm not entirely sure who it was so maybe we will come across that guy here um here we go cassidy revis oh his speed is awful though i mean whoo eesh no i don't know Let's see. Hey, Giggsy, no worries, man. I hope you have a great evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for that resub, man. It means a lot to me. Uh, throw some love to Giggsy on his way out. I know it is late over there, but uh, thank you for tuning in, man. And again, sorry for starting up late. Uh, yeah, we're going past the draft tonight. We're doing it all tonight. Aha, this might be the middle linebacker I was thinking of. Okay. Eh, his speed's not outstanding either, but that's just expected in this draft, I think. Buck Morton, but for, again, fifth-round guy, somebody to keep an eye on. DJ Sterling, I love his zone coverage. <laughs> the other stats, not so good. His speed's actually not awful compared to the other players there, but, I mean, with the other stats that he has listed, it's just probably not a great idea. Anybody else that stands out? I still have plenty of scouting to do, though, um, if we can find somebody. I, I'm keeping an eye on this guy. I don't know why. Let's see. I'm considering it, Green. We'll see. If we, we have to find a player that that makes sense for. We can't just move a player over and try to fit a square peg into a round hole. But if his stats look like they'll translate, then, of course, we could definitely consider it. Uh, uh, this is the guy I was thinking of, I think. Marcel Cody, the defensive tackle that I, I was remembering. 38 reps, good top three skills, projected to go in the sixth round. This is a guy I very much want. So, this is like one of the two players I'm sold on. One of them is Schobel, the other is Marcel Cody. There's a lot of question marks in between, though. But those two guys, I'm definitely liking. His man coverage is too bad. His, his 40 is not good either. 6'6", uh, six six, 4'5", This guy has a good combine. Decent press, decent strength. Horrible zone, probably even worse man, though. Not seeing a whole lot of standout guys here. Lacey Sutherland, though. Decent speed. I mean, for a seventh round guy, might be worth keeping an eye on. Might be worth keeping an eye on there. See if there's anybody else that stands out to me here. Not so much. 
Uh, good thing his second skill is a C minus tackle. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so that that's it for the uh, players projected to be drafted. Anyway, feel like let's see. There's somebody else that we would like to scout at linebacker. Wow. 7-3 combine. Look at this guy, though. Pretty solid top three skills for Dwight Gaston. Projected to go undrafted. Decent speed. Decent bench press. Dang. That's not bad. For a guy projected to go undrafted, we are certainly going to keep an eye on him. Um, anybody else here that I should scout? We do need an outside linebacker. Prototype, he has decent speed. Let's see what he's got. B minus tackle. Ugh. Not not living up to the hype, really. Let's see. Not much going on there either. Alright, so corners. I don't feel like there was many corners that I was thrilled with. And again, speed is an issue. This guy has a 6'9 combine. Still not doing good in the speed department, though. Let's see. Tajay Veal might be a decent first selection. Why did I not scout you past that? That would be why. Okay. Anything over here that I haven't scouted? Uh, wide receivers. I would like to find a, a good slot wide receiver, but I went down and looked at the speed of all the wide receivers, I believe, and none of them were really standing out. Let's see if I can find a guy listed as speed. Okay, Vladimir Mallard. Okay, I can work with that speed, definitely. Only 5'8", though. Uh, C plus catching, not outstanding. But for a sixth round guy, um, that's not bad. I mean, for a sixth round guy, that could be a solid pickup. What are y'all thinking? What up, Big Daddy Grove? How you doing today, man? It's good to see you, dude. All right. That might not be a bad option, to be honest. Let's see what else we got. Here's another speed guy. What are you? 446? Four, four, eh, not that fast. I doubt he's going to be better than the other guy, but. Eh, he's, he's not far behind. All right. I only have seven scouting points left. Is there anybody up here I could spend it on? If not, I might just save it. Is there another round of scouting? I think there is, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Oops, I thought I was at all positions. Anybody here to spend it on? Nope. Not looking good. Alright, I guess I'll just save it. Guess I'll just save it for now. Here we go. Kells, thank you for that follow, man. Alright. Let's go to Bo Allen. What is he, a right end or left end? I, I'd like to know where Drew Brees went. The Dolphins! What? Why? He just won a Super Bowl with the Saints, and he goes to the Dolphins. Adams going to Kansas City. They keep picking up very good wide receivers. They got Tajay Sharp. That's interesting. All right, so available. Let's go over to right end or left end. Let's see. Right end. Oh, I, that's what I meant. I meant Hart, not Allen. I'm sorry. I apologize. Where are we at? Where you at, bro? There you are. All right. Gosh, that's, I, I don't want to give him that much money, though. I don't... I don't know. Let's see. Saints probably cut him right after winning the Super Bowl. We'll just do that. Martin Afidi. I don't know where Afidi is. And we like Hart, and we also like Ronald Blair. I need to find a way to get them more involved. To be honest, I'm, I'm struggling. Like I, I'm trying to make it to where they sub out more frequently, um, Armstead and Buckner, so I can get those players involved. Because they've looked very good in the preseason, but I want to see them in the regular season. $19 million for Drew Brees in one year. That's such a weird contract. So weird. Saints are never going to be good now. They did have that rookie quarterback throw a touchdown in the Super Bowl, though. So I wouldn't rule it out just yet. Wouldn't rule it out just yet. I don't want them subbed out based on the formation, though. Shelby Harris was there, was he? Crusaders! 
How many people are around for the Crusaders franchise? Out of curiosity. Here's a good blocking tight end. Rip. Never mind. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. Um, I wouldn't mind. I remember last year there was actually a lot of very good, like, superstar guards late in the draft. And I just didn't scout any of them. Maybe it'll be worth keeping an eye on some. See, here you go. There you go. His pass block is awful. But he is very, very strong. He's 22 years old. His run block and impact block are solid. And for a sixth round pick, that could be a very nice pick up there. I'm glad I decided to check that out. Only 26 reps. No, thank you. Um, I might need another center here. None of these guys are, are standing out to me a whole lot, though. I, I guess this guy's fifth right is pass block. Not that it's as important, but would still be nice to have a guy there capable of holding it down. Um, 38 reps here as well out of NC State. Great run block. Oh, for a seventh round guy? Yes. All of the yes. Only 22 years old? I'm, absolutely. That, that, we're going to have to get him. We're just going to have to take that guy. You were around for the Cougars? Nice. Long live Golden. Debra Golden was a monster for sure. Very, very good. Um, oh, your combine probably sucked. Let's see if anybody has a standout number. Not that I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, don't really need... Unless I were to move a left end again. Unless I were to move like one of these guys out to uh, play at outside linebacker. But probably... This guy is strong. I kind of want to keep an eye on this guy just because of his strength. Dang. He doesn't fit my defense at all. I Maybe I can move him to play defensive tackle. I don't know. But again, the other defensive tackle is the guy I liked a lot more than that. So, I don't know. Jesus King. Oh, man. Uh, well, I traded the pick that was Jabbar Gray. And chat flipped out on me. Who was right, though? Who was right? I got Devrin Golden from that trade. I got Jimmy Mosley from that trade. And I got Reynard Ray from that trade. I'm pretty sure I came out on top on that one. Fairly certain that I came out on top there. All right. Ooh. You probably suck, though. He's only 22? I mean, his top three skills aren't the worst. Could be the one guy with a decent combine in this entire draft. So, I guess we just really need to look at some wide receivers to see if there's some guy there. Because we did struggle with wide receivers. And when Dimitri Todman went down, it really was not a good situation for our entire defense. Or defense. Our entire offense. Because we really didn't have players that could step up into a number one or two role there. Um, he has good catching, but that's spectacular catch. Yeesh. Eesh. All right, I only have eight, so once again. I don't know, Swiper. I'm debating it. I have some, some friends that have told me not to shave. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. Shakir Gaten was a great slot receiver. That guy was awesome, man. That guy was awesome. Let's see. Here we go. And we got Taylor Hart back. I'm stoked for that. There's really, like, I have all this extra scouting, but I'm, like, looking around, and I'm like, what do I really scout? I feel like I've scouted most of what I need to. I don't need to scout running backs at all. I don't need fullbacks at all. Uh, this guy did have a good combine. I'm just curious. Actually, the guy below him had a better one. Let's check out this. 4-6-9, though. I really don't need a fullback, though. But I'm curious. Should I scout him or no? You guys tell me. Do I scout him or no? Um, tight ends, if we can find another guy down here, maybe nobody's standing out. Six, seven. Oh. Well, hello there, Demarcus Norton. Give me some good catching stats, bud. Oh, gosh. That's his number two skill? What? How do you develop your spectacular catch and not your regular catch? 
Like, what kind of coach do you have? Everybody's saying to scout him, we'll go scout him. All right, let's see what you got here. All right. I'll keep an eye on him. Why not? Why not? Maybe we could sign him as like an undrafted free agent or something like that. All right, 6-3, what do we got? 36 reps. And again, I think we've kind of looked at most of these. Is anybody else down there? Nope, and I, I remember looking there. Uh, defensive tackle, maybe we... We have some other guys here that we could look at. See if I can find a good combine to scout. 5-8, 29 reps. I'm more interested in strength, and I'm not really seeing that from any of those guys there. 5-7... Not much strength at all. And then there's Cody. That's the player I really want, though. Marcel Cody is one of the two players that I really do want. What's up, Wiffle? Wiffle already is here slash was here. I don't know which. I don't know which it is. But already... Oh, wait. already is there. Yes! Right? Right? It's like Christmas. It really is. That was like seeing Artie and seeing Bama. It made my entire night. You guys don't even know. Seeing all of you makes me very happy, don't get me wrong. But again, those are like good friends of mine. Alright, 458 speed. Okay. I could I could maybe work with this. His tackle sucks, but I like his name. Rayquez Overton. He I like his size. He's only 22 years old, so plenty of uh of a future there. Let's see. This guy has a good name. Braxton Brazel, but I don't like that his main stats only C plus. If they're they're all C plus, which is actually better, but shoo me, dude, you're at App State. What? Thank you for the amazing Can we get some love the in the years. chat? Thank as you soon so as I much, get back man. From class at App State, I check your channel for a new vid. Oh. Love Man. you, Sneak. Keep it up. You got the way to my heart. App State, baby. Thank you so much for that $10. Can we get some love in the chat? That is awesome. Thank you so very much, man. Very cool. Man, any Mountaineer is good in my book. I'll say that right now. <laughs> Here we go. And now that I hear the music, I just want... I, I like the music. And now I'm thinking of Jacob dancing again. And this is going south. I, I need to stop. I wanted to scout this guy further, but I'm really not liking his combine a whole lot. I mean, look at this guy. 5A combine, projected to go in the first round. No strength at all. 448 speed isn't the worst, though. Uh, I don't really want to sign a player just to sign him. We already have, you know, Armstead and Buckner there. And um, we have Blair and, uh, what's his face, Hart behind them. Two players that I like a lot, so... I don't want to sign a guy just to sign him. I think he would just more get in the way, the development of our other players that we have. All right, this guy's got a decent combo. Wait, this guy's a better combine. Let's see. Four, five, three. What are you working with? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are both terrible. Y'all are terrible, as Charles Barkley would say. What about you? How are you even getting... Well, you might not get drafted. How are you even in the draft? Just, like, just go to Canadian Football League right now. Anything else here? A lot of safeties had a decent com combine by the looks of things. Safarian Jenkins. We got his uncle. We're going to call him the nephew. And again, there's really just not much else that I, I feel like I need to scout. I don't know. I don't know. What up, A. Waldman? Ah, oh, vegetarian. Take it easy, man. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for the bits. I hope you have an outstanding day, sir outstanding day i mean outstanding night but thank you for hanging out man take it easy dude and shumi you are the top donator of the month with that with uh only uh two weeks to go and after that i'm gonna reset the entire thing but i'm still gonna have all the names but we will reset it in the uh list below all right view free agency recap here we go and Thomas Davis is still available. That's a leader for you. If you guys need a leader, that's the way to go. Might have to uh, think about that. Gostkowski is there. Prater is there. A lot of kickers. None of the kickers getting signed. That's interesting to see. Let's go ahead and jump over. We got Austin Safarian Jenkins, and we also got Taylor Hart back. Shadow with a resub. Four months in a row. Can we get some more? Love going on in the chat. Thank you so very much, dude. I appreciate you being support.
support, man. It really means the world to me, dude. More than I can ever say. Thank you, thank you. League signings. Drew Brees going to the Dolphins. <laughs> So weird. He just won the Super Bowl and he's going to the Dolphins. Uh, a fair offer was $12.7 million. He ended up getting $19 million. Trey Boston going to the Redskins here on a, uh, I'm assuming, four-year deal, but I don't know. Devontae Adams going to the Chiefs. Trey Mason heading over to the Jets. McKinnon going to the Eagles. Nada to the Texans. Kenner to the Eagles. Jernigan over to the Texans. Uh, Bradham, the Colts. I'm waiting to find somebody in our division, but I'm not seeing anything yet. Hicks, Green, Benny Curry. Down the list we go. And the Browns. I'm getting all kinds of players here. All right. Still nobody within our division. That's crazy. I would not have thought that would be the case. Still nothing. Two cornerbacks there for the Cowboys. Have I missed one? Sam Bradford going to the Ravens. That's interesting. Let's see. AFC West looking like a great division, obviously. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I think the Chiefs are really turning it around. Obviously, the Raiders are very good, too. The Broncos, great defense. C.O. Moore. Have I not seen one yet? Yo, later, Stevie. Thank you for hanging out, man. I hope you have a great night, dude. Robert Griffin III going to the Jets. Aha, there you go. EJ Gaines is the top signee within our division, and he's only uh, 74 overall. That's a bit disappointing. I was hoping to see some new faces within the division, but obviously the draft can bring that as well. So, let's go ahead and check out one more thing before we get going, and that is the retirements, because I did forget to do that. So, uh, retired. There we go. Paul Pizlesny, Chris Canty, Demarcus Ware has retired. Jason Witten has retired. Ben Grubbs, Andy Lee. No, the Chiefs defense taking a big hit, losing Tom Ollie and Derek Johnson. Trent Cole, Vince Wilfork. I was wondering. That's what made me think about it when I saw the Texans sign a defensive tackle. Jonathan Joseph retired as well. Benjamin Watson. Brandon Marshall has retired from the Jets. Jason Peters, Darren Sproles, Whitworth, Cameron Wake, Dequel Jackson is retired, Antonio Gates has retired, Adam Pacman Jones, and Jeff Fisher has retired as well. Oh, thank you, Killer Zombie. I appreciate that, man. All right. So, let's go ahead without further ado. Let's jump into the NFL draft. Are you guys ready? Because I'm definitely going to need y'all's help in making some selections here. Ha, oh, oh, ha, Chantrell Wilkerson, 93 overall. He retired. He retired, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at this one too. Just get it out of the way. All right, guys, on to the NFL draft. Here we go. 